Hello everyone. So on today's training, I want to show you how you can add email signature in your Gmail account. Okay. So by signature, I mean this. When I click more option, yes, insert signature. When I select it, I select my signature. So what it means that information about me or my business will just appear. So let's say, for instance, I want to send email to a prospect or whoever, a client. Okay. So let me do an email. So you see what I mean. Okay. So I'm going to send a test email to my other email, right? So you see how the email signature works for those who don't know about email signature. So I'm going to click send, right? So it has been sent. Let's go and check the email. So as you can see, this is the email that I received from my second email. So what it means is once a client or a customer, whoever you're sending an email receives an email, they will see what we call email signature, okay? So this email signature is another avenue for you to sell yourself. And I'm going to show you how it works, okay? So let me first of all show you how to set it up. Then you see the advantage of having this email signature in your email, especially your Gmail account. So first off, go to Google search engine and search for Disha signature. Then you click it. Now it takes you to an email signature page where you can create your personalized email. And so from the first page now, we're going to add all our information and I'll be quick about that, okay? So to reduce the time spent on, work, on creating it. So as you can see, if I've added my personal information. Obviously, these are my personal information which is already available online okay so you may want to use information that are online you want your customers or your prospects to be aware of okay so the next is to add your social media links to your social media accounts okay so i'm going to select a few of them so i'm going to go for twitter facebook instagram youtube linkedin and pictures so by default six is advised okay and you don't have to add the six so you have to just focus on the ones you have account with right so personally i have account in all these platforms so i'm adding the six okay so under here right this is where you now start adding the username of each of your accounts you're going to add all the username here so that whenever whoever clicks it it takes them to the necessary account but for this training i won't be adding it for because of time okay so when you are satisfied with this you go to style so under this styling this is where you brand your email signature okay if you want to brand it to fit your website branding or your company branding this is where you make that happen so here you can change the link color if you have your company color code this is where you will use it otherwise you can select whichever one that works for you as you can see see what i'm doing right so if you look at it you see that the logo the icon the social media icon colors the icons color are changing right so let me leave it at green okay also the font family as well you can make change to them if you want then the font size you can choose whichever size right then here on the avatar you can obviously add your logo or your headshot okay so the other one i showed you the lego but this time i'm going to add my headshot so that we'll see the way it looks so i've added my headshot right so you can also style the headshot if you want for me i'm going to pick over right i'm okay with this then the image position you can change the position i will leave my at middle okay and of course the avatar size you can reduce the size of the avatar Right, if you want it bigger or smaller, whichever one works for you. Of course, also the spacing as well. You can increase the spacing or reduce the spacing, whatever works for you. Okay, when you are satisfied with this, then the next thing is to go to add-on. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So with this add-on, you can literally, you know, market something using this add-on, okay? So let's say, for instance, that you're an athlete marketer and you have links you, you share so that when people click the link, it directs them to the product and you earn your commission. You can do that in your email signature using what we call banner. So let me show you how it works. 
So for this banner now, I'm going to upload a banner. So obviously the banner is going to be my affiliate link banner. Do you understand? For those who does affiliate link will understand what I mean. So I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, great. So you see the affiliate link banner. Okay. So what it means is that once they receive the email and they think that they are interested in this banner, once they click it, it takes them to the, the site. And once they make a purchase, I will get the commission. Okay. But then I need to add the link here. So I'm going to add the link. Sorry, this isn't the link. But you get the drift, right? You're going to add the link, your affiliate specific affiliate link here do you understand i'm going to add your specific affiliate link here so let's say for example the affiliate link is google.com slash and what have you okay mm. or better still let me just get the link okay so you've add i've added the link as well so what it means is once the person receives an email from me and try to click this banner it takes them to the site and whenever they make any purchase i'll make a com i will get a commission for it right okay so that is uh, one advantage of adding banner then another thing you can use it for is add text so here if you want if there are other information you want whoever is receiving your e uh, email to be aware of this is where you can add whatever you want okay so they're giving you a opportunity to add more text right and also the third one is disclaimer so for those who sells product you understand what disclaimer is right so you can also add a disclaimer by telling your customers that their email is private is confidential and whatever other information you want okay so you can add that but although you can you can add a tree but it's not advisable your email signature space may not be able to carry it. so you just pick one of the three so i'm going to leave the banner on here okay then when you are done and you you're satisfied with this then go to layout now you can decide on how you want your look your email signature to look do you want it to look this way or you prefer this format or you prefer without your face showing so whichever one that works for you that's fine okay that's perfect okay so once you're satisfied with the way it looks you click copy signature Okay, so now I've copied the signature in the side. They'll show you how you can add it in your email, right? So different emails. So you can just click any of them to add on your email. But for this training, I'm going to show you how to add it on only your Gmail, okay? So other ones are listed. If you're using Apple Mail, they show you the process to add it here. But I'm going to only show you for what Gmail because that's the one I'm using, okay? So let's go to our Gmail account. So once you have the Gmail account, you click the setting, right? Go to all settings. Okay, then scroll down to, you will see, um, create signature, create new, no signature, create new. You click create new. So you give your signature a name. So let me give it my name. Click create. So this is where you just paste that signature, right? So as you can see, I've pasted my signature and it comes with the banner, okay? So when I'm satisfied with it, I click save, which is obviously what you would do. So now I have saved the signature. Now let's look at it. Let's see if it works, okay? So I'm going to send a test email again to my second email address. So let's see, okay? And test email. this is a test so what will happen i go to this i'll go to these options and add insert signature so i'm going to select the only that i created okay so as you can see i've inserted the signature okay so i'm going to send it now it has been sent so let's check it out in our other email. so as you can see now i see the test email that i received right so you see this um banner so now this is what your customer would receive or rather this is how the customer whoever i sent email using my email signature this is what they will get okay the info about my business 
whatever they need to know about my business and of course the banner okay so like i said the good thing is that whenever they click this banner it takes them directly to the link did you see it? it takes them to the site because it's an affiliate link so it takes them to the site and whenever they decide to make a purchase i will get a commission for it okay so it's on that way for you to market your affiliate product all right so i hope this is quite easy to understand okay and thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video